Lloyds Banking Group revealed its 2019 profit sank 26% today as it said it must pay out an extra £2.45 billion to settle payment protection insurance, PPI, claims. The figures Lloyds recorded profit before tax of £4.39 billion, down 26% on 2018, after the £2.45 billion PPI charge. Underlying profit slipped 7% to £7.5 billion as Lloyds blamed a challenging external market. Earnings per share dropped in line with profit, falling 36% to 3.5p. But the bank upped its dividend 5% to 3.37p per share, compared to 2018's 3.21p. The PPI hit also knocked Lloyd's return on tangible equity to 7.8%, down from last year's 11.7%. But the rate was 14.8% on an underlying basis and Lloyds expects it to hit 12 to 13 percent in 2020. Why it's interesting the British bank has already coughed up around £21 billion on PPI claims ahead of last August's deadline. Lloyds has already announced the closure of another 56 branches this year, having shuttered 151 in 2018 and 2019. Read more. Lloyds Bank announces 56 branch closures this year. It also suspended its share buyback scheme last September after it took a £1.8 billion PPI hit. Earlier this week HSBC also ruled out any buybacks for the next two years as it overhauled its strategy. Chief Executive Antonio Auto Osorio's salary also fell £230,000 in an executive pay dispute with shareholders. He has warned continued economic uncertainty could hurt Lloyd's outlook even more amid weak UK growth forecasts. What Lloyd said or to Osorio said in 2019 the group has continued to deliver for customers while making significant strategic progress in delivering a solid financial performance in a challenging external market. While it is disappointing that this was impacted by the additional PPI charge in the year, as a result of this performance. The board has been able to recommend an increased total ordinary dividend of 3.37 pence per share. Given our clear UK focus, our performance is inextricably linked to the health of the UK economy. During 2019, UK economic performance has remained resilient in the face of significant political and economic uncertainty, supported by record employment, low interest rates, and rising real wages. Although uncertainty remains given the ongoing negotiation of international trade agreements, there is now a clearer sense of direction and we remain well placed to help Britain prosper, support our customers and deliver strong and sustainable returns for shareholders. For more on this story, visit the news article link.